Hi, for my presentation, I'm going to be doing um, Alex Calder, who is known for being an innovator of kinetic art. Um, let me go ahead to the next slide. So in his early life, kind of going back, he has an engineering background, which kind of leads into the art that he does and what he goes into doing eventually further down the line. Um, if you look at this, the image to the side called the circus, it's a, a wire and simple, it's made of wire and simple materials which kind of reflects the spirit of innovation and playfulness that Alex Calder preferred and liked in his work. Um, it's kind of one of his niches in, in, in how he did things. Um, the circus is a representation of his early artistic style and creativity, showcases his ability to blend playfulness and technical skill. Um, the one thing I really like at this is the more you look at it, the more you see kind of simple everyday materials kind of in there. And I like how he was able to blend this all together and create what we would consider an actual circus um, or what, what an actual circus ring would look like, I should say. Um, I think he did really good. I, I like that you can see the playfulness in here in the style and kind of how there's a lot going on, but it, it's all made up of just simple little things. Um, and, and I think he did really good in showcasing that here. Um, it, eventually down Calder's life, he gets this exposure to avant-garde movements, which ignite kind of his like experimentation with the art that he does. Um, this piece demonstrates how Calder started breaking away from his traditional form or breaking away from traditional forms. Um, in collaboration with influential artists, enhanced his creative evolution and engagement with modernism. Um, I kind of like the Spire sculpture because it. I can see movement in it, and I guess in its basic sense when I'm looking at it. It's not this stagnant, just sitting there. Um, you kind of get this feeling of something that's somebody that's dancing, somebody that's moving. Um, I think he did really good in kind of capturing something without necessarily needing to go too detailed or too much into it. Um, you know, all wire sculptures, I think, are pretty cool in the sense of what they can show. But here, I think he did really good in cam capturing, you know, a simplicity, but yet this movement and something that's going on more than what something else would capture. Um, and here's kind of where we get into what Alex Calder is known for his mobiles. Um, he kind of pioneered this way for kinetic art um, to show art that's in place but moving. Um, Calder's mobiles invite viewers to engage physically and emotionally with, with the art. Mastery of form and balance creates visual, visually captivating pieces. Um, the dynamic nature of, of his work challenges traditional notions of sculpture, making it more accessible and exciting. Um, I kind of like when you look at this work, how you can kind of see everything's on this little hinge point, um, or, or each piece is on what looks like a hinge point. It's you know where this kinetic art kind of comes in. It's these things that have the ability to move and kind of rotate and move around. Um, which I think is an interesting aspect to add. You know, sculptures are nice and everything, but you can only look at them so many times and see so much. But when you're looking at something like this, it adds in a different dynamic because not only are you able to move, but the piece is able to move, um, which I think is an extremely, ex in excuse me, an interesting thing to look at um, because, you know, it's it's it adds more dynamic range to what the piece is. Um, you know, him creating something like this really shows where his engineering background came from with him being able to know how to do these things. And it's just not something I personally would have ever thought of. Um, I really like how, you know, he, he hangs this mobile up and just kind of lets it do what it wants to do. And so it, it invites the user to kind of, or the, the viewer to kind of engage with it, play around while looking around with it. And it kind of shows also back into his playful side and experimentation what he likes to do and kind of where he went with everything. Um, his introduction of movement transforms sculpture, making it an active experiment or active experience. His innovative spirit paved the way for future generations in kinetic and installation art. His playful and engaging style continues to resonate, influencing contemporary art practices. Um, again, here, I like how you have this balance going on. You can see, obviously, again, those links that enable movement, and the, the structure being held up so it's you know you get this piece that's going to be able to move around rotate spin um, do all these different movements that are, are quite interesting you know and here he has more of a balanced piece where you have the one big 
almost rock looking wires frame on the right versus all the little leaf looking things on the left um which creates this balance but it's you know it's interesting if you went up to this piece and watched it move i'm sure you get an entirely different experience with it not being in a still frame um which I think is really something that's incredible about his art that he was able to do um, and, and capture, which is why, I, you know, it, it makes sense that people kind of took this form of art and went with it. Um, you know, he, he's had a lasting impact on things. He has recognition by moment and that cements colors important importance in modern art history. You know, the Black Widow reflects his unique ability to combine whimsy with sophistication. His works are celebrated for their engagement. Con <laughs> Excuse me, I can't talk. Continuing to captivate new audiences. Um, again, kind of just tying everything in that we've already said here. You can see all these pieces that are able to move, able to spin. Um, he has these different dynamic ranges that you're not going to get with necessarily a, a a piece of clay art, a sculpture of some sort, um, certainly a painting and everything. You know, it, it, some things may be able to allude to movement, but to actually physically move is on a different level, in my opinion. Um, you know, I like with this piece too, because you, you see all the different transformations, all the ability to move. You know, you start out with these big beefy looking leaves and you go all the way down to these little tiny looking ones. Um, and, and I like the movement and shapes that he's creating while he's doing it. It creates kind of this pathway in line. Um, I, I think actually to see this in person would be quite interesting to be able to see what it's able to capture. But his art really encourages the users to look at everything from different angles and different perspectives. And I think he does that quite well. Um, and, and I think his art's quite amazing in that fashion. And then here are my works cited.